Hi, this is Julie. I'm here with Tyler, and he's going to tell us about a new game that's coming this summer to Kickstarter, and it's called Potions of Azerland. It's yeah. All you. Thanks, Julie. You so, betcha. So this is Potions of Azerland. Uh, in Potions, you are a potion maker. Um, so you'll see here you have a little potion desk where you are sitting, you're studying, and you're making potions. Nice. Um, What's fairly unique about the game is the way the action selections work here. Oh. So there's five actions in the game. You're going to forage, which means you go to the forest and you get goods. Mm -hmm. You're going to study. When you study, you go to your desk and you go up on your tech track here. You get better at making your potions. Okay. There's market. When you go to the market, you go down here to the market and you purchase these goods. No. Uh, the next action is brew. When you brew, you go and you <laughs> brew these potions. Uh, on your little study sheet here, it tells you how to brew the potions, what's oh, required wow. to, That's brew, so cool. to brew all those potions. Okay. Finally, the final action is fulfilling. When you fulfill, you go to the visitors that are in your town and you fulfill their contracts. You'll see that each of them require different potion types. Oh. When you give them the potion they require, they'll give you prestige, and they'll also give you some boosts and bonuses. Nice. Yeah. Oh, I love this. I love the colors and the. It's it's vibrant. It it's is. it's very it's cool. It's so pretty. Um, about how long does it take to play, Tyler? So a four-player game will take uh, about an hour, fifteen hour, twenty minutes. Okay. Um, and you can play a two-player game in 40, 45 minutes. Oh, great. I was just going to ask if two players can do this. Yep. There, there will be a solo mode. Okay. Yep. For and what are your ages on this? Um, it's probably 12 plus, 12, okay. 13 plus. Um, it's not a super heavy game. Um, it's We consider it a midweight Euro game. Um, there is, you know, some economics, some resource management mm -hmm. things, uh, but the action selections itself are very straightforward. I know, I like it. Um, and do you have an MSRP yet or no? We're shooting for around $50 for retail. Okay. Um, we will have some Kickstarter deluxe versions with uh, double layer boards and okay. some cool uh, resource tokens. So these like will these will be like upgraded or something? These is that will, what you're saying? This, will, this is how it will look for retail for okay. the most part. Okay. Uh, and then we're working to see what of these things we can upgrade for deluxe. Awesome. Yep. Well, very cool. I like it. I think it looks really like my speed. Yeah. <laughs> I like it's that. very nice. I mean, the, the way you play the game itself, you just... You're, you're prioritizing these actions. You mm -hmm. actually remove these tiles, and then you move them around to prioritize them wow. how you want to do these actions. Oh, that's really cool. So low is good, so mm -hmm. that's your number one thing you want to do. Mm -hmm. So when you forage, you put the number one thing, you're saying that's the thing I want to do the most. Okay. And then each round, you're going to put these face down oh. that will be revealed simultaneously. And then you reveal these actions based on how you compare to the other players. Okay. So you see here, we tied a bunch. Right, right. Well, what do you do when you tie? When you tie, each player has uh, these tie cauldrons. Okay. okay. So they break the tie. Number one wins, and then they're going to swap. Okay. That is really cool. Yeah. And that's how each round plays. You resolve these each round. Plays over six rounds. Okay. At the end of six rounds, whoever has the most prestige wins the game. Very nice. I like this. This looks really fun. Yeah. Thank you so much for telling me about it. Thank you for coming by. You I appreciate betcha. it. You bet. Thanks.